उभेरवणी शक्त करवणे कान टवपूर घरा जाऊन गाई मराठी देऊ हांबर लक्ष वाचरा कडे लागुनी झाले असतूर निघाल हाता गाया चौपूर कुरा कुराने गुरा उडवती झुरळा रस्त्यांत गळ्या भोवती घुंगुर माळा खुळखुळ करतांत गोंगडी काठी घेऊन पडतो पडेल अंधार घरी जाऊनी गाई गुरांची काढू निधार Vanwadi is a collective initiative for ecological regeneration. It was started 25 years ago with this main aim. My name is Bharat Mansata. I am occupationally a writer you may say and more and more I am spending more time at Vanwadi Over these 25 years it has grown into a, a wonderful forest tall dense rich in biodiversity we've had encouraging success too in groundwater recharge and rainwater harvesting resulting in a high degree of uh, water security which has benefited us of course as well as surrounding downstream uh, village areas We have conducted especially over the last 5-10 years numerous workshops and activities. These have helped spread nature sensitization and environmental awareness among wide sections of people including urban youngsters but also among some rural youth as well. And I think it has inspired quite a few people. So currently if we really look at it like if you ask anyone what are the top 5 biggest problem that the world is facing then it's not about uh, money it's not about uh, codings or apps or stock market the biggest challenge of the world are water it's biodiversity loss it's pollution of environment and air and those kind of things however there are hardly any university or places or education institutes working on solving these top 5 problems hi this is dilip jain i am born and brought up in bombay and had a typical corporate business career uh, after having two degrees of ca and mba i have worked with corporates as well as in my own business last 20 years i have done that and really realized that you know while the economy world the so called economy world is very good it's having huge repercussion on the ecology and if you really look at it ecology is the bigger picture where economy is a sub part of the entire ecology but everything that we are doing in the so called economy world is damaging the ecology and if we can't sustain the planets obviously profits can't sustain too long in 90% of the water air and soil of the planet is polluted and because of that more than 70% of the species of plants and animals have died in last 50 years now if that is the case obviously planet may not survive too long but there are no educational institutes focus around this because this is not you know helping the economy in any way uh, and that is where i think we city people who are more privileged both in terms of uh, finances or education they need to step forward and see what best they can do Uh, to solve this and not remain in their comfort zone so it said you know that nature is the ultimate teacher 
there is no teacher which is better than nature and once you get to know intricacies about say snakes or butterflies and birds you understand that it functions so so well in a structured harmonious way and that is what we need to, to expose to our younger generation and therefore at one favor uh, our plan is to focus on education but education focused around ecology and sustainability and more practical hands on education so whether it's natural farming whether it's forest food uh, working on water harvesting uh, working on biodiversity conservation construction in harmony with nature so these are the various things that we need to do what i realized at vanwadi is the tribal local tribals here have abundant good knowledge about all these things because they have been historically working in harmony with nature with very limited resources it's time we need to revive those traditional knowledges and put them into practice because the traditional knowledge is not driven by consumption but is only driven by building something which is sustainable which is low cost which is harmonious and i think a lot can be learned from tribals not that we can teach them a lot but we can learn a lot from them and by doing this we are doing two things you know one is the city people get exposed to these things and second is tribals who are currently misled by us in city that the life there is much better would value their own resources and own, own skills and own wisdom so it's a very good harmony where we can bring both together and try to create uh, educational space and practice things here launch na 26th year Vanwadi Forest Ecoversity aims to widen the ambit of our work to surrounding rural areas and villages beyond Vanwadi. Besides continuing the work of ecological regeneration and environmental education, the third pillar of Vanwadi Forest Ecoversity is supporting ecologically sustainable livelihoods, especially among local village youth, but also among urban youngsters. We are presently starting with 3 month long learning programs for small groups of about 15 20 participants including a mix of rural and urban. Over time, we are hopeful that this will evolve into an integrated forest eco-village community for ongoing eco-learning and sustainable living. So it has been a beautiful journey of regenerating the forest with minimal interference and now we all feel as vanwadi collective that it's ready for welcoming people from all walks of life i feel anybody and everybody can actually come to vanwadi right from a child to an elderly person and it and for each of each of that person there is something to take away from this space Hi my name is Sarita Ganesh I'm founder director of Khulas Man Trust where we use art for transformation at Vanwadi me and my husband are part of this collective for youngsters this is completely an alternative vision into how your life can be different than what the mainstream has kept bombarding upon you all the time feel even uh, adults who are coming from city would really enjoy this place and it's not just about enjoyment it's also about opening yourself to alternative ways of living and being and that's what is missing in today's world i really feel that the whole connection with the mother earth is so important and completely missing in our city life and also it's a safe forest but because this is a smaller area it's much safer and therefore you can throw yourself to newer experiences in your life